Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to another Pandas tutorial video. My name is Jay. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to use the shift method. The shift method uh, allows you to shift index by design number of pairs with an option time frequency. And what that means is you can use the shift uh, method to shift uh, your records either by column or by index uh, based on the, the previous uh, value that you provide. And the best way to learn how to use the shift uh, method is to actually just do a simple exercise. And right here I have a very simple uh, uh, Python predefined uh, script. And here I already uh, import the NumPy library and the pandas library, as well as uh, a data frame that contains uh, some dummy data. Now if I simply just uh, run the highlighted uh, statement, and if I print the data frame object, and this is what the data frame looks like. Uh, three columns and five rows of records uh, from 10 to 50, 11 to 51, and 12 to 52. Just a very uh, straightforward uh, data set. Let's say I want to ship uh, the first record and by one row. And that's where the shift method becomes super handy. So here I'll reference the different object dot shift. And next I want to provide the rows of <clears throat> next I want to provide next I want to provide the value based on how many index or columns I want to shift. And I only want to shift by one row, so I'll use one. Now if I print uh, line number nine shift oh so here I made a typo if I print the statement in here uh, you can see that uh, comparing to the the original data frame object all the records now ship down by one by one record now if we want to sh uh, ship by two records we can use pairs is equals to two and I'll ship uh, the entire data set by two rows. If I want to ship uh, backward, so you just need to use minus value. And I'll ship the entire uh, data set uh, up by two records. And I want to talk about uh, this couple things. Now, if you notice that when we uh, perform the shift statement, the shift method convert the value from uh, integer to decimal points. So here before we have just 10, 20, 30. Now we have 10.0, 20.0, 30.0. And to convert the data type uh, back to the original uh, data type, we can use the AS type to convert uh, our values to the data type that uh, we desire. And next, uh, because when we ship uh, records, it's going to fill out those uh, empty uh, values with the with the null value, and we, if we want to fill those null value with, with some values, we can use the fill na uh, method. And let's say I want to fill those na uh, value as uh, with zero, then I can use the dot fill na followed by the value that I want to uh, fill in. And if I run the same, if I run this statement right here, and that's going to fill out the the null value with zero, as well as converting the uh, the number data type back to just a regular integer. Now I want to show you another example. So this is going to be example number two. And with example number two, our, our index is going to be daytime uh, data type. So here I have another uh, sample data set. Now if I print uh, so let me run this. Now if I print the data from object, and now uh, this time we have an index that is date and time value with interval of uh, 12 hours, and as well as uh, six different columns with different uh, data type. Now let's say I don't want to ship the, the records. I want to ship the, the index only. And because uh, if we look at the documentation, Under the uh, freak parameter, you can offset your index if the index value are a uh, daytime format. So let's say I want to shift my index by uh, by 12 hours. 
And here I'll, I can use the shift method. And I'm going to provide, I'm going to uh, specify my frequency value, which is going to be 12 hours. And actually, let me do, actually, I'll also uh, ship the, the column as well. So I'm going to ship my columns by one column. And for the access, I'll set that to one. And if I print the statement, oops, uh, oh, should be Paris. And if I print the statement, and as you can see that my first record now has index value of uh, January 1st, 2009, with the time of 12, uh, 12 o'clock. So my column index is not shifting. But anyway, that's everything I want to cover in this lesson. And hopefully you guys found the video useful. As always, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys on the next video.